All right, hey guys, it's me again, you know who I am. And today, I'm gonna show you how to beat Nemesis really, really easily. Now, she has some very weird mechanics that I wanna point out and that you can kind of exploit. But at the same time, uh, she's not as hard as I initially thought she was to beat. Now, I'm just gonna spawn her in at the easiest difficulty just so I can kill her. Now, obviously, if you're, uh, if you, if it's, if the mission says you can't kill her, then obviously you're fucked and you should probably be running at all times. And if she's disguised, uh, you also can't kill her, so that, 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 you're fucked there too. Also, there was a bug that, uh, allowed her to disguise as your target, and that would make the mission unbeatable. I think I still have that version in, uh, of the game, actually. I don't think I've updated my, my version of the game to the fix, to have that bug f be fixed yet, but, oh well. Alright, kill Kuderi. I'm just gonna spawn Nemesis at level 1. This way, we can show you, I'm gonna show you how to kill her if... She's only, like, spawned in at base level. Good luck. So let's go. So what you want to do is find your target. And now, if the mission doesn't specify if you uh, have, if you need to wear, like, a clothing item or a we or a specific weapon, I'd say you're always your best bet would be the painter schmuck and the box, box cutter. Simply because the enemies are, or enemies, sorry, the students will not be alerted to you uh, as being like bloody and being and they will generally if you're fast enough and you switch weapons away like really fast they're not going to even uh, react to you but they probably still will react to the body and your awareness meter will not go up at all oh shit okay she's just spawned in right at the very start and that never happens so all right so here's what I'm going to do this is a unique situation here. And she normally, this is pretty rare that she does this. Okay, is she following me still? Okay, she's, okay, so she lost me. But crouching and sprinting at the same time is very good tactic against her. But problem is she's gonna return to certain spots. And if you, like crouching and sprinting, uh, also uh, sometimes she can so generally, uh, after going through through the fountain and being lost, she'll generally come back to the last point and where you did that at. So you don't want to do that. Now I have no idea if you can track her uh, via your phone, so I wouldn't try that because the, if she sees you, she'll walk faster. All right, so let's Greetings. join the art club here. Alright, box cutter, we got our weapon. And I know where the target is going to be, but we're not going to take care of the target for now. We're going to take care of Nemesis. And then we'll kill the target and be on our merry way. Okay, I found her. She's at the front. Right there. Alright, now she, since she doesn't see me, she's gonna, just going to go back to the place where she last saw me. Or last... Okay. So yeah, the crouching and... uh. Sprinting things, yeah. She'll generally return to the last place, uh... You've been stopped at. So I'm gonna... Get the... F oh, okay. Alright. Let's hide here. What the fuck's going on with her? Alright, well... Alright, now you see... She's going to the last place that I've crouched and sprinted at. What the fuck? Yeah, just like I thought. So she generally returns to the last place you crouch and sprint it at. Even if she doesn't hear you, she'll still return to that place. Let's keep going. Most of the time, she doesn't go all the way like that or do anything she did right there. All right. So I think I'm close to my target, so she's gonna probably spawn in. Okay, so she's not spawned in again. Alright, so let's talk. Greetings. Be careful with your movement again. Don't wanna make noise. Cause I don't know how far her ears can hear, but it's probably a bad idea to sprint once she spawned in. Or once you've confirmed that she spawned in. But holy shit! Okay, now we have an opportunity.
All right, I got her. And now that her body's in a convenient place, I can kill my target with these now. All right. So generally, she doesn't do act the way she did <laughs> in this video. But she'll generally spawn in as soon as you grab the weapon. And be careful of sprinting. If I'm correct, she should be over here. Yeah, okay, she's... She's bugged. All objectives complete. Exfiltrate. All right. As long as you can get behind her, you can you can crouch and sprint all you all you want. Uh, yeah. So just as long as you get behind her, crouch and sprint as much as you want, because she is always faster than you, and that's the only way you're ever gonna catch up to her. Otherwise, she she just becomes unbeatable. But I'm glad Yonder Dev added the courtesy of making crouching and sprinting at the same time uh, silent instead of loud, like it was in an earlier build, but now it's not. So awesome! Now, mission accomplished. Nice work. And that's how you beat Nemesis. All right, I just want to reiterate again. She does not normally act like that. <laughs> But generally, be careful of sprinting. Be careful. Be very careful of sprinting. And if you're near her, your target, that's also uh, probably a prime example of when she's going to spawn in. Being near her, near your target, or if you grab a weapon, the, those those are two things you want to be cautious of. Because then, under those conditions, she can spawn in. But she doesn't spawn in like right off the bat. So yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Um, uh, if you want to challenge me in a mission mode, give me a code. Give me your give me a mission idea that you want me to do, and I'll do that. I haven't tested out any of Disguise Nemesis uh, at all, but she, uh, that's she. She obviously immediately spawns in, and you don't want her disguising as your target because that that's bad. So yeah. And anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.